Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Long time no see, eh? Sorry, it's been ages. Um, what can I say? Uh, new job, new career. I've just been flat out and haven't been doing a lot of brewing. But, got some stuff. Doing some stuff at the moment, so I thought, hey, I'll, I'll share it. First off, a big apology to Zane Maxwell, Worky Brew. Um, you sent me beers quite a long time ago now, and I haven't reviewed them yet. But I'm going to remedy it right now. So, <laughs> I need a beer. Now, Zane, I, I, I have actually forgotten what you sent me. I believe, by memory, one is a brown ale, which you've used uh, your own sour yeast, or your own bug. Um, and I've completely forgotten what the other one is. But, let's crack into this one, eh? Well, this is one of Zane's. I believe this is the brown sour. Maybe. We'll, we'll soon find out. We hiss there. No, no, I, this one, I reckon, is the, um, is an IPA, some description. Let's get into it. Righty ho. Is he going to hear in the background? That is Luke. Luke, please don't bump the table. There we go, stop right there. Just no! Any, uh, yeasties in there? No, no one on there. Okay, yes, shh. Please. Shh. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll put that over the air as well. I'm just scared of the little fella knocking it over. But, righty ho, let's have a look. Wow, look at the colour on that. Clarity's looking really good. Um, the sun's sort of getting it to the back there. Real hoppy. You can smell a lot of hops on the nose there. Which um, I'm glad about because, um, sorry, Zane, it's taken me so long to review these. Um, I was scared that you sent me an IPA and everything's dropped out of it, but no, it hasn't. It smells wonderful. Can't pick the hops. I'm, I'm predicting a bit of Centennial, a bit of Cascade. <laughs> really, I've got, no, I've got no clue. It's smelling really hoppy, smelling fruity, smelling yum. Cheers, guys. Mmm, yum. Bitterness is right on. Hello. Um, really nice. Really nice indeed. Um, and a, a really nice IPA. Not, not detecting any dice at all. Nothing, no wolf flavours. Bitterness is, I reckon that's probably about, I'm guessing here too, it's over 45 IBUs. <laughs> I'd say by the bitterness, um, it'd be about a 60. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's not a, it's an IPA, it's not a parallel. Anyway, it's delicious. <sighs> Thank you, Zane. Really appreciate it. This is a really nice drop. Yeah. I've only tried one other of your beers, it's your SJ4 entry. Um, so, you know, your, your great efforts, you're right on the money, buddy. Tasting really good, so cheers, cheers, eh? Um, righty ho. If I've got time, I'll try to do the other one as well before the end of this video, but I don't want to take too long. So, so where have I been? Um, I have been in uh, Wellington um, for a while, and I was very kindly met up with uh, Grant Baker, and he invited me into his house, which was lovely. And we drank far too much craft beer and had a really good time. So, thank you for your generosity, Grant. Um, it was a uh, good time had by all. Uh, <laughs> Maybe too good a time on a weeknight. But anyway. <laughs> so, right, moving right along. Um, what have I been up to brewing wise? Well, I brewed a bolted porter. Um, this is the first time brewing a bolted porter. And now I used a German yeast on that, a German uh, lager yeast. Um, I'm just it's just about finished actually, um, fermenting. It's down to it's down to ten twenty six. Um, really, really needs to get down to a, um, I can have no show doing this with this little fella. Uh, um, and it really needs to get down to 10.20. Um, so, a few more days, hopefully it should be there. It should be there. It's been about two weeks now in the fermenter, so it's really taking its sweet time. Um, starting gravity on this wee number was a 10.86. Shooting for a 10.89. So I missed by three my numbers, missed by three points, but eh, that's okay. It's still going to be a good 8% beer, so that's okay. Um, 
what I learnt from doing this high gravity porter um, is that a 45 litre chilli bin as you mash done isn't really big enough. I was really right at the brim there with 9.3 uh, kgs of grain and um, and a good uh, 17 litres of water. Really got it right to the... So I know it's <laughs> what it can take now. So if I'm going to do a barley wine, I'd better do a 15 litre batch. <laughs> uh, so, let's have a wee taste of it, eh? Um, what I noticed as well from the recipe, because I followed the recipe pretty, you know, to the numbers, set of brewing classic styles again, the Baltic Porter recipe, um, that it's like a bit of a brown porter. It's not that dark, but then I haven't brewed a porter before. So, right off the nose there, multi ass, multi ass. There's not, there is, what was it, about 100 and 110 uh, grams of hops. Well, this is the first time I've eaten something like that. It's real chocolatey. It's multi. There's not a lot of heat. The boy left on the line. Yum, 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 yum. Looking forward to this one. It's clean. It tastes really clean. Um, I can still taste a bit of, sort of, bit of, bit of. Uh, a, or set. Um, well, I can see the bulbs coming up now as well. There's still activity in there. It's still uh, fermenting. So that'll be left. Well, to be honest with you, it's got to be done by. Um, it has to be done by uh, Sunday. Because uh, I won't have an opportunity for three weeks to do that anyway. But that's another story. Um, but also, what I'll show you here is that I've done a. Sorry about the wiggles. I have a wee of this table. I've got a wee boy sitting over here who won't sit still, as you've heard him. So anyway, moving right along, i um, got some yeast here. So this is the yeast that I used um, for the beer. It is the German Lager Yeast, uh, WLP830. That was for the Baltic Porter. Now, like, all, every time I'm going to buy these, I like to grow the yeast. Um, and so I grew it uh, times four. I used two of these and a four litre starter for this recipe because it was such a high gravity. So um, what I plan to do with these, yes, is that I am going to do a German Pilsner. Of course, Pilsner. I'm going away from the Baltic or the, or the uh, Pilsner or cow, and I'm going to try a German Pilsner with Hallertau hops. Um, and then I'm going to do a Swartz beer with the other one. So um, lagering it up big time. So with those two, I... A ebony and ivory lager mix, <laughs> a black and a dark, and a, and a nice blonde lager. Carry on. So <laughs> rambling again, like always. Yeah, you've missed this rambling, haven't you? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> mm. I'm enjoying that, Zane. Thank you very much. There's, it's just getting better. There's some great carbonation on that beer. Really, really good. You see those bubbles? Yeah, you can. Lovely. Um, guys, that's about it. That's about it, to be honest. Um, and I can't tell you when I'll be next on. Uh, hopefully next time on I've got some brew footage, or um, or I'm pouring a pint of that Baltic Porter. Um, but uh, yeah, at, at the moment life is up and down. Not up and down, life is just flat out. Flat out. So, um, yeah, that's all. Oh, what I am going to mention is that um, the SJ Pour Challenge is is up and going again and I'm, I'm sadly that I'm not in it this year I really um, I just you know with everything on my plate I just couldn't couldn't do it um, I will do it next year right um, and it's it's fantastic you know all the all the work behind the scenes from Grant Baker and um, um, and 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 all the guys behind the scenes really it's you guys are really pushing that um, pushing that competition forward and it's it's really nice to see. Not so many entries this year, um, uh, which is a wee bit of a shame, but hopefully it'll, it'll come back next year. Uh, I'm sure the hubs are enjoying not having the masses like they did last year. Um, but yeah, hey, that's me. So uh, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.